You are going to discover some great places to eat in Heidelberg, Germany. From one end of the old town to the other, starting out at the center, the Market Plots, the Market Square, the most popular place for casual outdoor dining and drinking. Then we'll walk all over the center, visiting many eateries ranging from the casual sidewalk cafe to the high-end gourmet, along with rustic taverns, cheap takeouts, and cellar wine bars. As in many small or medium-sized European cities, the marketplace is the center of town, usually nestled right next to the cathedral, as we have here, and with City Hall on the other side of the square. It's one of those important and fun community spaces where you have a lot of activity all around the edges with the restaurants and the waiter service and the takeaway service with an imposing Gothic church towering high above and all the tables in the middle where people can gather and have a meal or a drink or just talk. There's even a restaurant and a creperi snack bar sheltered by the walls of the church. Walking along past the church to the corner of the market square, you will find Zum Ritter, it's in the Hotel Ritter, some of the best restaurants in town are tucked away inside of the main hotels. Zumritter's excellent restaurant has gourmet food equal to any of the other great restaurants of town, offering the highest level of service with a European flair to the presentation. Hey. <laughs> yeah, Lunda, Lunda. It's got it. And a historic setting because it's the oldest non-religious building in town, dating from 1592. One block south, slightly out of the way, more fine dining. Simplicissimus is one of the top gourmet restaurants of Heidelberg, featuring French cuisine. A three-course meal here will set you back about 70 euro, and well worth it. Located on Ingrimstrasse, a two-minute walk brings us back to the Marktplatz once again, a location you will no doubt return to repeatedly during your visit to Heidelberg. It's the happiest place in town surrounded by historic buildings, most of which date back nearly four centuries. A budget Italian choice on the square is Roma. This is a good time to show you a map of the old town and explain the route we're taking as we explore the restaurants of Heidelberg. Starting from the Market Square, we'll head east and loop for a few blocks and then back to the Market Square and down Steingasse to the bridge and then through some lovely back lanes and working our way up to the Hauptstrasse, the main lane. Walking to the end where we hit the modern town and then back again to the Hauptstrasse and ending up where we started at the Marktplatz at night. Let's go eat. Stepping east for a couple of blocks, we get to one of the famous bakery cafes of town, Gundel, highest quality with normal prices offering an amazing choice of cakes and tarts and cookies, as well as sandwiches, earning it a five-star rating in TripAdvisor, with table seating indoors and out, located right on Karlsplatz. One of the major squares, and yet tourists often miss it, a few minutes walk from the marketplace. Well, there's two famous student pubs located just adjacent to this Karlsplatz, one of them is the Red Ox, and the other is Seppel. And they both offer traditional bar meals and lots of beer and occasional nighttime music. The Red Ox was featured in that classic operetta, The Student Prince. And now return back to the Market Square and continue to the short street called Steingasse. It's only one block long, and it's chock-a-block with places to eat, drink, and shop. Connecting the Market Square with the Old Bridge, this is one of the most popular streets in the city. A seat at one of the many outdoor tables gives you a good view of the passing parade of people. In the morning, it's very quiet, but by midday, it gets very busy, and then later in the evening, it quiets down again. This is my favorite street in the city for eating and drinking because it's got a lovely mix of locals and visitors with a couple of great bars and restaurants. One excellent dining choice is Hak Teufel. With traditional cuisine, they've got indoor and outdoor seating, excellent beer. It's a typical local restaurant and you'll find rustic wooden interior, 
They've got pork tenderloin with dumpling or spetzel, Vienna veal scallop, sausage with sauerkraut and dumpling. They also run a hotel upstairs with 12 rooms. There's also a brew pub nearby, and these restaurants along Steingasse are generally open throughout the day and into the evening. You'll find the workers here are quite friendly, making this a great place for a stroll at night. Restaurant Goldenrecht is so conveniently located right at the old bridge, so you have nice outdoor ambiance that Steingasse Street runs next to it, the river nearby, and featuring Austrian cuisine along with German. Or just sit at the bar and have a beer. Our Hotel Hollanderhof is right next door, conveniently located in the old town next to the bridge. A good breakfast is an important meal for the traveler to give you that early morning energy that'll get you through the day. A buffet breakfast is generally included with the price of the room in Germany, so let's have a look and see what's on offer. You just help yourself as much as you want. There's always a good variety of fruits and cheeses, meats, cereals, yogurts, breads, croissants, juices, all sorts of great food here to get you going for the day. There is so much to see and do in Heidelberg with so many great restaurants to experience, such as those in the program, which makes it worthwhile spending at least two days here in your visit, especially at a centrally located hotel like this, seemingly surrounded by restaurants, including a traditional tavern that shares the same building, Restaurant Spreisel, a popular local spot where I enjoyed the beef roulade with the homemade spetzel. Our group enjoyed one of the best meals of the visit at Schnuckelach, also near the bridge facing the river, a typical local tavern with traditional wood interior. Just great service, wonderful atmosphere, and such delicious, authentic local food. Sliced veal with spetzel and mushroom. We each had something different, so there was a big variety on our table for us all to enjoy looking and sharing. Love that spetzel, it's a pasta dumpling. Weiserbach is one of my favorites. Just go to the end of Unterostrasse and take a ride on Rosa Mantelgasse. You can sit indoors or outdoors at this fine restaurant, serving one of the most delicious lamb dishes you'll ever have. Like many of these restaurants, they operate a small hotel. Do some walking and you'll discover some other good restaurants in the blocks all around Weiserbach, such as Bachmulda, a small hotel and gourmet restaurant with meat, fish, and vegetarian dishes, pork belly, steak, tuna, tagliatelle, ravioli, dumplings, and spetzel. Finally, we are bringing you to the Hauptstrasse, Heidelberg's main pedestrian lane. It's certainly the most popular destination for hungry tourists looking for some food, and there are many fine possibilities along this street. But that's why we showed all of those other restaurant locations to you first to encourage you to get out away from the main popular drag and onto the side streets where you might find a little bit more of the local cuisine and perhaps higher quality. However, Hauptstrasse also has a lot of great food to offer, as we'll be showing you right now. It's a wonderful street. It's one of the great pedestrian lanes of the world, no doubt, and has a lot of good eating choices if you know where to look. And sometimes you'll get lucky and get some free food. In this case, it was some delicious dried apple crisps. Wow, they were tasty, healthy, and free. And the locals also shop and eat here, so the prices are going to be fair. You'll find some real food bargains here as well. You can get a simple meal like a kebab, Turkish or Greek in origin, the gyros, the revolving meat going around on a spit. The wine atrium on Hauptstrasse is not only a wine shop, it's a wine bar. You can sit down in their cozy cellar or out in their garden and enjoy a glass. Sample it before you buy a bottle. Don't think that main street, the Hauptstrasse, is just for tourists. 
take a closer look and you'll see that there are some marvelous local restaurants such as the White Swan with a historic tradition going back 450 years, serving traditional cuisine in a rustic wooden setting. There are dozens of places to eat along the Hauptstrasse, many of them just simple outdoor casual cafes, a great spot for people watching with that endless passing parade of characters from breakfast till midnight. The University of Heidelberg has a main campus in the center of the old town right along Hauptstrasse and provides a little known food bargain for the visitor inside the student union. One of their cafeterias is right on University Place and has reasonable prices with pretty good food. Open to the public and a very sociable spot. If you're interested in meeting some local students and having a chat about life in Heidelberg, this could be a place to do it. Or if you just want a coffee or a light snack, help yourself. Another part of the campus is a few blocks away down by the river, and there you'll find a much larger cafeteria, which is in a former arsenal that's called the Marstall, built 500 years ago. And this is the Marstall Cafe, also called the Zeughaus Mensa in the Stables. Little known fact, it's open to the public. Students sit outdoors in nice weather at a big collection of picnic benches. It's a great socializing place for these young people to rendezvous with their friends, meet some new friends, have a chat, swap tips, bring the kids. You can also sit indoors at this cafeteria and there's quite a selection. There's a hot table with cooked foods. You can get sandwiches or just a light bite or a drink. There's a very good salad bar. Students pay less than the general public, but still this is a very reasonably priced place to eat. It's a bargain. And they won awards as the best college cafeteria in Germany. The bar's open till 11.30 at night. It's a pub, a cafe, a restaurant, and a beer garden all in one. Let's recap on the map the restaurant route that we've already taken and point out where we're going next, starting from the Market Square, Went down by the river, around those little side lanes, up to the Hauptstrasse and the university campuses, and back to the Hauptstrasse where we continue along to the end of the street. When you're back on the main pedestrian lane, the Hauptstrasse, if you'd like to sit down for a light meal or a snack, a great choice would be the famous bakery and cafe, Schaffheutel. You can sit outdoors in front, on the street, or in the back garden. Maybe in their lovely greenhouse type room that gives you the feeling of being outdoors with the comfort of being inside. This Conditorei offers a full service menu all day for a nice lunch or dinner, but they're most famous as a pastry shop. Check out the front counter. It's just loaded with cakes and pies, tarts, breads, rolls, muffins, croissants. It's pastry heaven located in the heart of the old town near the university. You'd never realize from the outside of the bakery on Hopstrasse that there is such a wonderland and garden inside. Keep walking to the end of the pedestrian zone and there you will reach the busy downtown. That's the modern part where you'll find the Galleria Kaufhof, which is a big department store. And they've got everything inside, including a very nice bakery and sandwich bar right out front. Cafe Rossi is a very popular spot just off of the main square. You can sit outdoors or inside at the coffee bar. Now we're taking you back to the Hauptstrasse for an evening stroll and we'll end up where we began the program at the marketplace. There are so many food options along the street that it would easily take you a whole month to eat your way from one end to the other. You're gonna find many nice temptations to sit down and have a drink or have a meal, maybe just a snack. It's like nonstop eating when you walk along this street, it seems. Have dinner, some beer, go to bed, wake up and have breakfast. There are many inexpensive and casual places to eat here. It seems like every third shop front is another restaurant. They've got Mexican, Chinese, Thai, Italian, Spanish, Greek, and yes, German, you name it. Many also serve pizza. 
Do yourself a favor, skip the exotic ethnic foods and pizza and have some authentic German food. And there are some cozy little pubs and bars to finish off the night. We've got many more movies about Heidelberg you can find in our collection. We upload a new movie every week, so please subscribe to our channel and click that little alarm bell so you'll be notified. And if you enjoyed the movie, how about a thumbs up and we always welcome comments down below. Or if you have questions about the destination, make note and we'll answer them. Thanks for watching.